Hello, my name is Gary Stein. I am uh, the Executive Director of South Ottawa Community Legal Services. Uh, I've worked at uh, the, this clinic since 1995 when I came on board as a staff lawyer. I was a staff lawyer there for many years and now Executive Director. Uh, I've been um, relying heavily, I should say, on the CRO's services really since I came to work in the clinic system. I was at that time, I think, when it was first being established as a, uh, as a research unit for clinics in particular. I, find it, I found it actually immensely helpful, both as a beginning caseworker in the clinic system to have those resources available at that time, and on an ongoing basis, all the way through to the work that I do now uh, in my individual casework. Uh, to give specific examples, uh, I don't often get into court on appeals when I've had to prepare court materials. Uh, I don't have the time uh, to uh, be uh, doing a lot of independent other research prepared for, for my court work. So being able to go directly to the CRO website to find the resources quickly that I need has been instrumental in being able to get the work done on time. Uh, frankly, I'm not sure we could do the work without having those resources available uh, from, from the CRO. Um, on on um, just having the website available uh, as it's been improved over the years uh, has been immensely helpful to me. Even I, I would almost say on a day-to-day -day basis uh, because it's, um, well, as, as our work has grown, both as casework and other types of projects, I mean, work, as we all know, in clinics is really being involved in community legal work in all kinds of ways. It really feels like it becomes almost like a just-in-time type of work that we are providing to our, to our clients. So when somebody walks in with something which is something we don't do often, a legal issue arises that isn't a common one, I frankly won't have the time to spend a lot of time researching, but I know I can find it quickly because of the particular resources that I use on the on the website. So, for example, the uh, the annotated um, Ontario Disability Support Program Act and regulations is immensely helpful. So I can quickly zone in on the particular section which is a problem for me uh, and uh, for the client and find the most updated resources that I could then use to convince ODSP to change its decision or to convince the tribunal in my submissions to it. Um, the, uh, I can give a particular example. Um, I've had uh, some uh, cases recently, quite a few actually, overpayment types of cases where uh, very poor clients would be left um, with very large overpayments of twenty, thirty, forty thousand uh, dollars that they never should have had in the first place, and I was able to very to quickly find the resources there to to um, to prepare my written submissions uh, and to zone in on the actual cases I would need to convince the tribunal that in very similar circumstances the same tribunal has uh, made a very different decision, and I would say in almost every single case uh, that that has worked successfully for the client. Um, I have turned where needed to individual file assistance, where I can, uh, as we know, uh, contact a CRO uh, lawyer uh, for assistance with a particularly pressing problem. I've used it more in the past than I have now, but knowing it's there um, has been very helpful. And also, now in my work as an executive director, knowing it's there for my staff members who are at the earlier stages of their careers uh, gives me great comfort. I can turn to my CLW and say, that's a difficult issue, I think you need to go to the website, or I think you should be asking the CRO to do uh, a memo for you on this particular thing. Um, it doesn't come up on the sort of the bread and butter work so much on ODSP casework. Uh, it does come up, like I say, on the other types of ODSP problems on Ontario Works type of problems. It comes up in housing law, uh, where even though we don't do a lot of individual files, we do an immense amount of summary advice, brief services, and tenant duty council work. And so being able to find the resources quickly, so I'm, so I'm in the know uh, at any particular time, is, <coughs> is very useful. Um, so 
I, I guess I would say um, just you know over the course of the of the many years that I've worked at the clinic, the resource has changed and my need for it has changed. Uh, but in an era where, as we all know, increased coordination, partnership, um, you know, doing doing more with what we have, which I think is important. All the more reason well, why we in the communities need a centralized resource that would assist us in being able to do that so we can keep keep you know, our, our clients um, our, our clients obtain justice that they're entitled to get. 